Hi, Rick here. Today I'm going to show you how to make paper wallets. First, a little background on paper wallets. They were first invented between 300 and 400 BC on the ancient Greek island of Mythos, where when people wanted to store their valuables and protect them from the pirates of the Mediterranean, they would put their valuables in a box and bury it underground and create a paper wallet that looks like this. Nowadays we call this a treasure map, but that was their version of a paper wallet. Modern paper wallets look like this. It has this really cool minotaur in the front and a QR code on the back. Let's get started. Begin by launching Daedalus and selecting the paper wallet creation icon on the left hand side. A window pops up that says create a paper wallet certificate. Make sure you read the instructions here thoroughly and understand them before you continue. The next selection we're going to do is select Save PDF File for Printing. This is going to generate an address in a wallet and put it inside this paper wallet certificate PDF. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. Now that I have the icon on my desktop, I'm going to open it and check it for correctness before I print it. It's a double sided document. We have the front page and the back page. The front page has the Minotaur and the QR code. The back page, which gets folded inside the wallet, contains the initial 18 seeds and the remaining nine that you have to write down yourself. Next, I'm going to print the wallet, and then I'll be back. Now that I've printed and trimmed the wallet, I have it here, and I go to the next steps. There are there are three check blocks down here on the verified print certificate page and it says yes the paper wallet certificate printed successfully check yes the first 18 words of the paper wallet recovery phrase are readable and those are shown here now there are 18 words and nine blank spaces for a total of 27 words that's to prevent a print buffer attack. For example, if I were to use this in public and I would have printed on public printer, someone could reprint my document and have all of my keys or all of my seed words. So there's the nine you write down. That's what we do next. So check mark, yes, first 18 words of the paper wallet recovery phrase are readable. Check mark, yes, the QR code is scannable. Okay, now I've got to test scan this. I'm going to pause for a moment and show you that. I have my QR code scanner here, shown here. I'm going to use it to scan in case someone's never used these before so I pointed the QR code at oops, I pointed the phone at the QR code it scanned it and now the phone has the address hard to see on there all right now the phone displays the address that is printed on the paper wallet so what we're doing is we're verifying that those match. Since I ver verified that the QR code is scannable and the address matches, I'm going to hit continue. And the next step it says to complete the paper wallet certificate, you will need to write down the remaining nine words of your paper wallet recovery phrase on your certificate. And they're listed here. So I'm going to do that next. Now I have a total of 27 words. The original uh, 18 plus the 9 that I wrote down and I'll go back to the complete your certificate window and select I've written down the 9 remaining words see they really do make this it's foolproof if you follow the directions All right, and I'm going to select continue it says enter your paper wallet recovery phrase to verify your paper wallet certificate make sure you enter all 27 words now this is very easy to use so I'm going to do the first couple words I'm going to show you on the video uh, my first words are East, Salon, and Team, so I'm going to type East. Let me get my keyboard here. And uh, as you finish the word, you just hit Enter or Tab, and it will Tab Complete, or hit Enter, and it'll finish it. Salon, Team. So you can see it's pretty easy to use. Mandate is my next one. Now, don't actually say your seed words out loud like I am, but I'm just going to trash this wallet when I'm done so it doesn't matter but for security make sure you don't uh, say them out loud or display them online the way I'm doing it okay season pink and so on all right and then I'll be back in just a moment when I finish these I'm going to record the remainder of these words so you can see how it finishes the process and continues on 
Okay, when I finish the last word correctly, notice the red bar that was around the window disappears. So now I have all 27 words in there correctly. Then I check mark, I understand the paper wallet created will not be stored in day list. And check mark, I understand that my paper wallet can be recovered only by using my paper wallet certificate. Okay, so any funds you put on here, you have to use the certificate. Continue. Okay, paper wallet certificate. You may wish to fold your paper wallet certificate and glue it together. I've already cut mine. I'm going to avoid the glue. Uh, my wife takes care of the glue. I'm dangerous with glue. So Cardano Explorer link is shown here. So from here I can launch it to see the wallet online. Or I can copy the link into a web browser. And I can also copy the wallet address itself. And then email this to people. So there is the web browser with the address because I clicked on that link. So it's part of the building process. There's the same QR code that appears on my paper wallet. Transaction zero, balance zero. All right, so looking good so far. Lastly, uh, I click finish. And my paper wallet is complete. So now they're finished, I can fold it and glue it and put it away for safekeeping. The next section I'm going to cover here is sending funds. So I'm actually going to send funds to the paper wallet. Here I have my wallet Hansel. Um, I'm going to hit send funds. I already copied the paper wallet address, so I'm going to hit paste. And the last letters are Tango Kilo 43 Zulu Charlie November. Verify that on my wallet. Tango Kilo 43 Zulu Charlie November. All right, so that is the correct wallet. I'm going to put in to ADA to send to it and hit next. Gives me the confirm transaction. Type in my spending password and hit send. There will be a pause. I'm going to let that send. I'm going to go back to my web browser. Now that it says ADA sent, I'll give it a moment. It says transaction pending minus 2.17, transaction low and have one confirmation. So I'm going to go back to the browser, refresh it, and there it is. One transaction and balance has two ADA. That's pretty easy to do. I like it. All right, my next video is going to be how to redeem the paper wallet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Now I have to assume zero knowledge base of the users of these wallets. Uh, I'm not making this video for the professional who's done this kind of stuff before because you probably don't need this video. So uh, I want to explain something about these wallets. I've, I've cut it and now it's folded and ready to be glued along these colored lines. The colored lines on the edges are ready to be glued. And the way this wallet is designed is when I fold it, like this is the printed front, and you got the QR code on the bottom, and the word seeds are hidden inside the wallet. So I fold it so that they're inside and hidden, and then fold it again and glue it shut so that the word seeds cannot be seen by another person. However, even though it's closed and sealed shut, you can still send more money to this wallet because the address I showed you in the web browser earlier is shown on the back. One, you got the QR code. Okay, So you have the QR code. Here I go with the zoom thing again. Boy, do I have difficulty with that. All right, I have the QR code and I have the wallet address shown down here. So even though this remains sealed, let's say I put 10 ADA on it and I decide later I want to put more ADA. I use this address or QR code to load more money onto this paper wallet. Even though it remains sealed, I can still keep putting more and more on it. All right? And that's a very clever feature. I'm rather impressed. That's how a lot of uh, paper wallets work. And uh, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to add that piece in there just to make sure you understand a little bit more detail of how these paper wallets work. Thanks for watching.